What's up everybody, this is Night Viper. Today we're going over the War Room. It's a facility in the Last Fortress. It's brand new and we have next to no information about this. And everybody's been asking the questions, not only in my Discord, but in the Last Fortress Discord too. They've come out with a little bit of information on it as far as the announcements go, but a lot of this stuff that they posted on here is literally just taken from the actual War Room itself on the explanation pages, right? So these aren't that descriptive so what I did was I ran through this entire thing in my main account and I went through every single possibility that I could possibly come up with and now I'm gonna make a video for you guys so you're on the same page as me this isn't an end-all be-all video it's a brand new thing so there may be things that you guys find out about that I don't know yet post in the comment section but for everything I know here we go Right from the get-go, this is what we got. We have our little hammer over here for construction. You can click that, go to facilities, and this is your war room. You click the exclamation point, just says unlock the hero bond and spiritual link. Those are just the sections in the war room. So we'll click it, and we will say yes. Check mark. War room automatically finishes. Yes, I'd like to recall it. If you don't know, that's a setting in your options menu to make it so it doesn't auto collect facilities so that you don't accidentally click things when it's not expand the fortress day. So let's click on it. Let's look at the tabs. Let's start off with level up screen. This is just a normal screen like everything else. You have the resources that are going to be consumed when you upgrade it. And on top of that, you have what the effect is going to be. If you click the exclamation point, it tells you that this can go up to a level 10. And as you increase its level, you increase your combat level. Now, the combat level is a term that hasn't really been thrown around in this game. I figured out that it's the actual hero level. So the level that your heroes can be right now maxed out is 100. This makes it so they can go up to 120. And I believe it's going to go even further than that based on what we're going to talk about in this video. So that's what you're looking up for your level up. I was actually waiting for Expand the Fortress Day to use this level up. And it turns out that's today. So let's just start banking on it. And you guys can see as this goes through how much we're going to need. We got a free one-time finish right now. Boom, leveled up. And you can see if you go to the spiritual link, you'll look at this combat level. And right now it's 104 and that's because I'm leveled up to the second level and it's going to keep going up until you get to level 120. So let's run through it. And now we got upgrading the war room by now, spending a few diamonds. All right, one diamond is going to show me that again today. So we got a diamond that we're needing. Let's see how fast we can go. It only has to go up to level 10, so it's not that bad. Max level reach, there you go, a few diamonds, nothing. So there you go, maxed out, and if you go to your spiritual link now, my combat level can go up to 120. And don't worry right now, if my screen over here looks different than yours, it's going to because I've done things in this account. I have original content where I was just starting it out brand new like you guys and working through it, but then I got additional information. So this is going to be a little piece together video, but you're going to get all the information you need from it. So what we're going to look at right now is the link level. Click on the link level, it takes three things into consideration. The first is your initial level cap. That initial level cap is as high as your lowest hero that's in here. So if you have a level 80 hero in here, that's only going to be 80. If you get somebody up to a level 100, it'll be a level 100, and then you start increasing the level over here to get it higher, and that's where we're at. I'm going to go through that with you. Just know the initial level cap, if yours is different than mine, it means your heroes are lower than my heroes are, and that's why it's different. Mythical heroes. This is how many mythical heroes I have. So they're talking about the actual heroes if you go to your... Yes, I know I have a lot of shards because my recruitment sucks, but if you go to your actual heroes, how many mythical heroes do you have? So apparently I have 48 on this account and that's made it so they took that into account. Oops, we're not there yet, my friend. And that's my mythical heroes, 48. Your bond level is in the bond screen. And we'll just break down the bond screen right now. This is what you're looking at for the bond screen. They basically took heroes that were they predestined them together they bonded them together and you get bonuses if you have these heroes at certain qualities if you look at the bottom of each one of these these are the bonuses that you're currently getting just for activating the um war room just for activating it you get these and having these heroes to that quality already so like right now i don't have marlin high quality at all so i'm not getting the full benefit click on this and you'll see what i mean you have a story, their bond story that you can read through, and then you can 
go down through here and you can see what the criteria is for you to be able to unlock these buffs. So I need these heroes to at least be an elite level to get a damage buff. I also need these heroes to be legendary level to get a damage, another damage buff and an HP buff. And then if all these heroes are mythical, then I'm going to be able to get level cap increased. And that is where they're looking at this. That is your bond level cap that can be increased. So when you're looking at the bond room, the important things to know is all of these skills, all of these buffs stack on each other. The only thing that doesn't stack is your cap level. That's just one for each bond, period. But if you have heroes like Laurel over here, who's here, here, and here, then she's getting 3% damage bonus on each one of these, 5% HP on each one of these, and all of those add together. So Laurel is going to be getting a 9% damage bonus and a 15% HP bonus just because I had her mythical and she's in this bond. It's automatically given to you for starting this war room. Now, if you don't have these people upgraded, these are the people you want to focus upgrading so you can get damage bonuses. And a lot of these people have gadgets too. So like Laurel, for example, she has her gadget that's like her basic one adds 15% more damage to the people in the back row. Now we're adding an additional 9% damage. So what's that, 24% damage? And she has 15% HP damage. So just between her gadget and this, and that's not even including upping her stats, that alone is more than a faction bonus that you would be getting. So this is definitely going to be beneficial for people as far as uh, damage bonuses and HP bonuses go. All right, guys, last thing I want to touch on is going to be number five. If the hero in the bond is consumed, the bond bonus will be rendered in ineffective. Basically, all that means is don't use these guys to ascend other people anymore unless you have extra shards after you've ascended them all the way to mythic. And there's some people in here like Kate. We constantly burn her shards. I don't even think on my other account I have her i mean like at all leveled up because i'm using her shards constantly burning them out so now instead of doing that save up the shards for the heroes that are on here and get them to mythic so you can unlock the bonus even if you don't use these heroes because i may not use roland but i use laurel and that's going to give me a bonus for laurel who's in my lineups so that's what you guys want to do next up we're going to look at showroom showroom is just the trophy room that's all it is the idea behind this from what i read on their um announcement release thing that they did was this is for people that basically have their their trophies all over their fortress and that way you have them all in one place me personally i didn't do that and i don't know anybody that did either but i put all mine in one spot so that's they're easy to find for me i got this whole area blocked out for them but if you have them placed around your fortress and you're decorating this way you have one place that you can get them at if you do try to level anybody up here, I mean like unlock their statue here, so I can unlock a statue, it's just gonna take you to the hero screen. So you can already go to the hero screen and do this, but this is a shortcut if you're there. And when you click it, it'll tell you how much you need to activate it. It doesn't tell you in the other screen, it just brings you here. And the reason I believe they put the showroom in here is because your statues can be directly affected by this machine, this uh, spiritual link. The way it's affected is because of what the spiritual link does. Basically, if you have people in here that are high level, you can put anybody else in here and they're going to be brought up to that level without needing the experience or the coin to do it. If they're added in here, it will automatically bump, be bumped up. So if I have somebody in here that is a level 90 and I throw in a level 30 hero and I put them in here too with this little plus sign, I add a level 30 like somebody down here, I can't get a statue on a level 30. But if I put them in here, it's going to raise them to the level that my heroes are in here. And then I can build the statue. So that's how it directly affects your statues. And I don't know if you know this, but if you have a statue that you originally had on a hero that you had at level 80 and you added, like you leveled it up. So you have points on that hero. Wherever you put those points, they stay on that hero. Even if you put that hero below level 80, your statue is deactivated, they still get the points. So Elaine here, for example, as you can see, it's this color. That color means it's deactivated. So let me go into, if it will let me out of this fucking screen. There we go. So let me go into Elaine over here. And here she is. So here's Elaine. She is currently a level 30, but her statue points are still on her. So that's a trick that you can do is just reset heroes, throw them all up there to level 80 or bring them into this machine, build statues, level those up, and then take the hero back down they're still going to keep those uh, those points 
Uh, one thing to note though, as you're building these, the more you build, the more experience you're gonna need to build the next one. And on top of that, if you decide that it's getting crazy too expensive, you can demolish statues that you're not using, but you don't get all the resources back. It only gives you a portion of the resources back if you demolish it. So if I had a level 15 Irma, and I'm like, I don't need her anymore, and it's too expensive for me to get somebody else, and I want Victoria on here, then you destroy the Irma statue, you're not going to be able to build a level 15 Victoria with Irma's points because you didn't get those full amount of points. So just be aware of that, that you're still going to have to have some banked for that purpose. And that brings me into what we're going to go through in the spiritual link as well, because there are resources that are going to be available to you when you use this. It's pretty cool because you can get a lot of resources for your heroes and you can upgrade your cars a lot faster now using the system. And I want to show you what that is. The reason this is taking me a little while to come out with this video is because this is the third time I've recorded it because I got new information as I went. Uh, this information that I'm telling you, I got from people that talk to the developers. So kind of directly from the hands that made it, I'm gonna let you know what I know about it. And if you found out anything different, please let us know. I'm sure you guys have all kinds of things going on too. I've run into at least three glitches so far. So one thing that I ran into gave me what I can see as an unlimited supply of money. So I wanna show you what that is because I think that was their intention so that you can upgrade everybody. If it wasn't, then I guess they'll see this and it'll be patched, but I think that's what the intent was. So that's what I'm gonna bank off of. All right, so what I wanna do, I wanna explain the interface to you, explain to you how the system works, and then I'm gonna break it down for the different players because this is gonna be in two different car like categories for whales and for people that don't have level 100 heroes yet. So the way this system works, we know that you upgraded this facility up to level 10, which gave us the combat level cap of 120. The link level is based on the lowest hero you have over here. And that is where it gets a little dicey because you're gonna have two different types of players. You're gonna have players that had a bunch of level 100 heroes, players that don't. And that's basically what you're going to see as a difference over here. Now, I didn't even know that there was a difference until I talked with somebody on my Discord, um, Aaron. yes, so thank you for the information, the, what she was seeing, and also thank you for allowing me to look at a little other account where I could see what you guys were seeing. I appreciate that. And basically what I found out was if you have a smaller account and you don't have five level 100 heroes yet, you just have three plus signs here and that's it. Everybody else is locked. I didn't know that. I thought we all started out with eight spots automatically open, there was five heroes in there. That's not the way it's played. So if you hit the exclamation point, this is what it says. Your, I'm not going to read the whole thing, don't worry. Uh, your top five heroes are identified as leader heroes. The lowest among the five will be your link level. Cool. That makes it sound like you're going to have five heroes in here automatically. It's not the case. You only get those five heroes placed in here if they're all level 100 heroes. That's what I was told by the person that talked to the developers. So the only way they will auto place these five in is if you get level 100 heroes, all five of them. And the way that you can do that if you don't have those yet is by using this system to your advantage. And I wanna show you how to do that. And that will make it so you can get to this five heroes a little bit faster. Let's look at what we're gonna be seeing here. We have our link level being the lowest person over here. And if you have all 500 heroes, your link level is gonna be level 100. You're gonna have this button down here to increase the link level right off the bat because you're already level 100. If you are not, you just have these three pluses here. Whoever you place in here will then be the highest or lowest and that's gonna be this number over here, whoever's the lowest. So let's say you only had one level 90 hero and everybody else on your entire you know, lineup is, is below that. You throw your level 90 hero in here, that's gonna be level 90. And then, you throw somebody in that's a level 30. The level 30 is now brought up to the link level. That's why it's a link level. They're being linked. So those two now have the same level. Whatever you used on that level 30, before you throw them in there, you get that currency back. Now, let's up the game, right? We have level 100 heroes in here. You then hit this plus sign and you pick a level 100 hero, whoever you want. I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't know, let's go with Rebecca for some reason. And I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna place her. All of the resources for Rebecca are being returned to me. So everything that I've put onto her are now being returned to me. And that works with any of the heroes that you put in there. Anything you put into them, you get. This part scared me. And I think a lot of people, based on what I've been telling, you know, been hearing, 
says, and basically they're going to be reset to a level 1. Like, whoa, I don't want my prison reset to a level 1. We're trying to get them above level 100. And that's actually kind of misleading because if you hit confirm, they go into here, their level then gets upped to whoever your you know link level is over here. And you get all those resources back, they stay that level. So these people that are in here are reset heroes that I got all the currency back from them. And if you go out to my lineup here, and this is my smaller account, go out to my lineup here, this guy's a level one because I didn't put him in there yet. Everybody else is a level 101, except for Buccaneer here. He hasn't made the cut yet either. But I want to show you Benson here. So Benson is a level one hero. And there's going to be two things that are going to be important to know about Benson and how this thing works. First thing is, if I put him in here, I'm going to get all those resources back. He's going to get bunked up to level 100, and I'll show you that. So let's go find Benson. Where'd you go, Benson? He's level 1, so he's down here. So Benson, I'll put you in there. Boom, hero's placed. I didn't spend anything on him, so I didn't get anything back. If I take him out, he's going to drop back down to a level 1. But right now, he just jumped up to my link level, level 101. So if I go back out to my car... He is now level 101. I didn't have to spend any resources whatsoever. He just became that level for me placing him in there. That's the benefit of it, because if you have somebody that's level 100, now you can start throwing people in. With that being said, you have, back here, two things we need to look at. First thing is, if you click on the explanation here, you go down to here, heroes in hero contract slots cannot be placed in link slots. Well, I found two things with that. One, it's not both heroes. It's only the veteran hero can't be placed. And I want to show you what I mean. And you're going to go, wait a minute. I just saw, and you did. So just a second. I'm going to my hero contract. I currently have Haytex paired with Benson. Now, when I first did this, it told me I wasn't allowed to put Haytex in there. So I took the contract off. And then I put Haytex in there. He's my best hero. I need him to be over level 100. So I throw him in. And then I double backed, I put the contract back on Benson and it worked. So there's a little workaround for you guys. The veteran hero will not let you do it at first. Break the contract, put them in, put the contract back on. And that way you're raising not only the quality of the hero, but the level of the hero to the link level. So that's cool. And next up we need to say, when you have heroes that are auto-placed here, like these five heroes, or if you make the choice and you put somebody in here and you want to remove them, you can do that. When you remove anybody from this lineup, you're going to see two different things. First thing, if you have your leader heroes that are here and you go to pull them, it's going to look like this. Your heroes level 100, they're going to stay level 100. That's only for the leader heroes because those ones you never got any additional money from. They just were thrown into here. So those heroes themselves don't give you anything back. They didn't get any levels taken away from them. Everything's exactly how it was. You're just freeing up a space. So if I decide to do that, I'll free up the space. I'll go, yeah, go by. Boom. Now I have to wait 24 hours before I can put somebody else in this space, unless I use these chips. So we're going to go over the currency and increasing the level now, just so you know that process, and we'll go back into strategy. So to unlock this, you click on it, and you can use two of these link chips. Confirm, boom, I can put somebody back in here immediately now, whoever I want. And the way that you're going to get these currencies up here is by going down here to battle, come over to explore and you're gonna get them in here so click on the little treasure chest same thing as you're getting your XP and your coins now you're getting these other coins along with it you have like your link coins your chips and your XP to bump those guys up the rate that these come in per hour I have no idea it's not actually stated anywhere nothing updated with it no upgraded preview shows you a change so I don't know what rate they come in and I don't know if your level your exploration level changes like i'm at what 36-1 on this account so i don't know if that changes how much is going to be coming in or not i haven't seen a difference between my two accounts but i haven't paid much attention on that front so if you know let us know if you're making a lot more than somebody else and we'll know that there's a difference there so that's how you're going to get your currency to level those guys up i looked in anywhere else i could possibly think of that you'd be able to get that currency and i haven't been able to find it like sometimes they throw it in the dailies where you click on here and you go through and they give you awards down here i didn't see it in there i haven't been able to find it anywhere else i'm assuming they're going to slip it in in other places but for now that's where i've been able to find it uh, but that is how you're going to get the currency that you need to upgrade this down here now when you upgrade this, 
it upgrades your hero level. That's how you get these guys bunked up. As you increase this, you're increasing your hero level. To unlock these, you need these. These link coins here, I have not seen when we need these yet. So what I wanna do while I have you guys on here is I'm gonna increase my link level and we're gonna see if these guys pop up here at some point. So right now I'm at level 101 for everybody. Let's jump up a little bit. 102, 103, 104, boom. There you go. That's when we need these. Now, you can get them in packs. Click on it, it'll be able to sell you packs for it. These guys here, hella expensive because they're assuming the people that are doing this are gonna be the whales that, you know, are just trying to max everything out. My people are now all level 104, so that's cool. And what I have, if I want to um, unlock more slots, it takes those same chips. So everything here you can get for free with a little bit of time and a grind getting it from that box. I mean, you don't really have to do anything. You just have to wait and then go in and collect it. But that's cool that they made it available for free as well. It means all of us are going to be able to get to it. However, as you saw, as I increased my level, so did the amount needed increased and these things aren't cheap like it's going to take me 30 to increase the next one i hit confirm it'll bring up how much these chips are and the chips are also a dollar per chip well if you wait a little bit it's going to be able to get those if you want to max out as much as possible because you know the next guy's going to there's a way that you can do it and i'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to bank on that to throw their heroes in because they can max everybody out at level 120 so the big guys are going to have much bigger lineups now the rest of us we're able to at least get to a level 100 a lot easier and then go beyond that. But we're a little limited to the spaces that we can go without making purchases. So that's something you want to consider if you do buy things in the game. Now, here's what we got. You're going to have two different strategies here. I'm going to go over the whale strategy because it's just easier, honestly. Whale strategy, like I said, you're going to unlock these as you go. What you're going to have is your heroes are going to get leveled up to 120. You're gonna bunk them all up. You're gonna have all four cars in here. That's your goal. Medium spenders, your goal is to unlock as many as these can, and you're going to be bringing people in. If you don't have all four of your cars leveled up at level 100, you can still use the same trick I'm gonna tell the low spenders too. For the whales, you're gonna be putting all your level 100 heroes in here, and you're getting all that currency back, right? You're going to use those points to level up your Solari heroes because at this point, if all four of your cars are leveled up, there's no point in going through here and leveling any of these bottom heroes up except for maybe making it look like you have a little bit more CP, but it doesn't give you anything else by leveling these guys level up. So what I would suggest is it's honestly better to be a sleeper whale anyway because then the bigger guy goes to hit you and gets freaking torn up. But what I suggest is go to your Solari heroes and the first two I would increase is going to be Wallowitz and Pearson because they have skills that when you increase their skills, you're getting better construction speeds and stats. And honestly, you may have already finished your construction. If that's the case, fill up any of these other guys. But for those of you, maybe medium spenders that don't know, right here, for every 60 points of INT, you get instruction, uh, construction speed boost. And same thing with Pearson, wherever the heck Pearson's at. There you go. All right, so Pearson, he's got the same thing, fourth skill. For every 60 points of strength, you get construction speed. So if you're going to make these guys bump up to a level 100, that's going to benefit you. For everybody else that you can bump up as high as you can, it depends on where they work, but you're still going to get increased benefits. So like, I'll go here. If somebody's working at a mint and I increase for every 40 points of vitality they have, they get plus one to the output. So it's little things, but if you could do that with all your Solari heroes because there's nothing else that you can do with those coins, then this is a great place to bank those in. So for everybody else that does not have their heroes level 100, the strategy is going to be a bit different for you. Now, if you were able to get heroes here that are level 100, then what you can do is pull one of them out and put in whatever hero that you want to bump up to level 100 get the currency back from that hero and keep revolving them out the trick that i found that i think is going to be very beneficial to everybody is dealing with these leader heroes and here's the trick so you guys just saw me remove lun lun is a level 100 and if i place him back in here he's still a level 100 you don't get anything for placing him so if i click on here and i go lun i want you back in here he goes Hey, all five leader heroes get level 100. They're auto placing these slots. Leader heroes are placed. You don't get any cost returned to you. You get nothing. 
So I'm not getting any benefit by putting Lund back in there. However, this system acts exactly like resetting our heroes, right? So I thought, why not reset our hero? If Lun is an original hero, let's come up here and let's reset a hero. So let's go to Ascend. And before I do this, I want to show you how much money I have. Not the flex, but so you can see the difference. So, no, oh, well, that's not helpful if I don't go to somebody that actually needs money to level up. Here we go. So right now I have 179,000 super flex right here, right? So that's it, 179,000. Now Lun, as you saw, is an original hero and I don't get anything for him. Now I'm gonna go over here to ascending a hero and I'm gonna reset Lun. Lun, you are now being reset. Yep, reset him, boom, I got all that back. Same thing as if you put him in the, uh, the link system, except now he's a level one hero outside of the link system. But he is a leader hero and this is where I found that you can get your money back. So, I'm gonna put Lun back in here. Now Lun over here is now level one. He's baby Lun. Where are you at, baby Lun? Right here, okay. Boom, it bunked him up to a level 100, cool. So now he's a level 100, well click on him. He stays a level 100. He's a leader hero. They always stay a level 100. Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna take him out. I have to wait a day to put somebody else back in here or I can use those two chips, but uh, currently, right now, I just reset Lun, uh, but you know he's a leader hero, so he's still level 100. And currently, right now, the money that I have on me, if I go to somebody over level 30, is 1.9 million. So now I'm just going to head right back over to the uh, the Nexus shop here. We're going to go to ascend a hero. We're going to reset again, and we're going to do the exact same thing again with Lun. And as far as I can see, you can do this as many times as you want to. Honestly, this feels like more like a glitch than it does their intention. The other way that I saw their intention being was you have level 90 heroes you and you take those heroes and you throw them in here. You don't let's say you don't have the full 100 yet cuz we already went over the strategy for people that are whales with the hundreds and throwing everything into here. For the people that don't have that and you just have three pluses right here. How do you do it? What's your process? You don't have a fifth hero that you can take out and put back in like I just showed you. They don't exist yet. So the best thing that I can see that you can do is go to the Nexus, reset all of your heroes but one. Keep that hero and put as much coin as you could possibly put into him. Get him as close to level 100 as you can or get him to level 100. Once you get him to that point, put him in here. They're going to give you your coin back because you don't have all five yet. They're going to be able to give you your coin back and you do that for the next one. And keep doing that until you get all five of those heroes and like i was told once you get that fifth hero well it's going to auto pull your top five and it's going to make them your leader heroes that's when you're going to get into the position where you're going to be able to take one of those leader heroes out reset them put them back in refresh that level and then do that process but you got to get to there first and so the way that you can get to there is just by banking as much coin as possible into one hero putting them in and getting other heroes and doing the same thing. Keep going until you have a level 100. And hopefully you're at a position where you can at least make one because that's going to be the best place for you to be able to get this whole process started. Because if you can get to the point where you have these leader heroes and you can do this reset, then after that, you can have all of your cars level 100. It's just the process of waiting for these guys to come in or buying them. That's it. So hopefully this helped everybody out. Um, there are some glitches with the game though, right? So maybe this is a glitch that we're talking about. Maybe this isn't supposed to happen this way. Maybe I found a workaround or something. I don't know. I, again, there's so little information out there. I barely got information saying you're going to see something different if you don't have five heroes. So we're at where we're at. So if you find out information, let me know. On top of that, um, I had a couple glitches. I'll let you know what they are in case you run into them. My first glitch was Lun in my other account. I raised everybody up to 102 and he stayed level 100. He was original hero leader and he never moved off 100. I don't know why. He just stayed there. Next glitch was Casino here. He was not one of my original five. He was not in the front of my thing here. Because when you have your leader heroes, they pop up here. He wasn't here. It was Lun, I believe, that was over here. No, it was um, Blanche. So Blanche was over here before and now... Casino's over here. How did he get there? 
not only is he not the highest level person that I have, but on top of that, he wasn't even the last, like the first person that I put into this. So I removed everybody. And then I started putting the people that are on my main lineup. And when I got to the end, I went, oh yeah, casino. I'll throw him in too, just because, you know, I put him on my queen lineup when I fight the zombie queen. Um, he's not part of my original five. He was not put in in order of one through five. So he really shouldn't be considered a leader hero. But look, if I click on him, I, he doesn't get reset. He stays at level 100, and he's on the front of this when I come out. He's a leader hero. He got replaced somehow. I don't know how. Same as Lun. Lun being 100. Doesn't make sense. There's one other bug that I did research, and I found people are putting these heroes in here, and they're sending a car out to go do something with these heroes, and the car doesn't come back. Ever. It just has the wheel spinning, and you, you wait for the car, and it never comes back. The workaround, the workaround that we found so far, that I that I read on so far, was pull the heroes from this spiritual link, like take them off of there, and then restart your game. And it's supposed to at least bring your car back. Now, as far as I know, there's not a fix to this yet. They know it's an issue, it's being worked on, but they haven't fixed it. And I got that from their Discord page, just reading what the moderators were telling the people on there that were having this problem. So. Other than that, I don't really have other connections that have told me anything whatsoever on this. So, you know as much as I do now on this entire thing. And I hope that this has helped you guys out. So, if it did, like the video, subscribe. So that way when I come out with other videos, you know about them. And also share this. Because if that's a trick that's going to go away, whoever we share this with is going to be able to at least benefit from it in the meantime. If that's not going to go away, then whoever sees this anyway is going to be able to be stronger than all the other opponents that don't see it because they're going to be able to get level 100 cars real quick. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.